All right, so we're live. So what I'm going to go over today is uh, just a few questions people have been asking me about the Helium network. So uh, the most common question is, if I'm in an area where there's no Helium miners, can I still make money? And the answer is absolutely yes, um, but there's going to be some caveats to that, right? So uh, you're not going to earn your max potential, and what you want to do is try and put your play put yourself in a place where you can earn the max potential. So uh, I put together a guide, helium mining business model. So if you want to get into cryptocurrency, um, I'll send you this guide out. Just send me a tweet um, or an email and it will go over the whole hotspots, how you earn money, uh, the antennas, the hotspot placement guide, where to purchase them, the, the, uh, the stats of the, the different miners and ranges. So I have all of that. So if you have an area that isn't covered yet, what you can do is you can go on helium.place. And helium.place um, is a map program that you can type your address in. When you type your address in, it's going to show you how many miners are close to you. Once you know how many miners are close to you, um, you, can, you can estimate what your potential is. So I'm going to type in an address. and see what we come up with. Doesn't seem to be working. All right, maybe that website's not working. Well, you can go on the second website, but that first website was helium.place. It just might be down for maintenance right now. But the second website you can go to is uh, explorer.helium.com slash coverage. And when you go on there, you can just zoom into the city that you're looking for. So I'm going to look at, I'm going to try and find a, uh, Georgia. So there's Atlantic City, New Jersey. Got to go further south. And you can see the miners are all over the I-95, all the way down the United States. Okay, there's Georgia. So there's Columbia, South Carolina. Georgia's right after it. Okay, so there is Augusta, Georgia. Balsorda. Dawson. This is Atlanta. So you can join in and uh, you can zoom in and you can look at Atlanta. So they have helium miners all over the place. And what you're going to do is you're going to click on the dots and see how much these dots are earning. So for example, um, let's look at East Point, Georgia down in the south. So if you go to East Point, click on this dot here. This one's called Modern Pecan Jaguar. So they give them random names uh, to keep it anonymous, but you can see the locations of these miners. So Modern Pecan Jaguar is just the three-word name that would have be for this miner in East Point, Georgia. In the south, it was by itself. There wasn't very many miners close to it. And you can look at the earnings of it. So in the last 30 days, this one earned 254 HNT, which at $7, wow, that's actually really good. At $7 per, per coin, you're looking at a $1,400 a month U.S. income off of one miner. So he is able to connect to people. He has to be to be earning this much. Um, but it doesn't. it shows no near, nearby hotspots, no nearby witnesses. So... That's a really good earning. Um, if you look at this one here in the south in Riverdale, Georgia, there's also nothing around it. This one is called Sleepy Mocha Kangaroo. And then we'll look at one in the city. So if I go right into the city, where is that? Virginia Highlands. It's in the north. Um, Cabbage Town is downtown. Yeah, let's go here. Around Cabbage Town. 
So this one is wild moder wild watermelon porcupine. So wild moder watermelon porcupine and sleepy mocha kangaroo. So this is in Riverdale, Georgia, still in the south. This one is a lone wolf miner, and it looks like this one hasn't earned anything yet. So you can go there. It's probably not set up yet. So then we'll go to the second one. Wild watermelon porcupine. Yo, that guy's losing. He's losing. So uh, wild watermelon porcupine. Let's see what he's earning. Oh, this one's good. So this one downtown Atlanta is earning 12 per day. So almost $80 US a day and 500 a month. That's crazy. That's almost, yeah, that's over $3,000 US a month. So if you live in Atlanta, it's a good place to be mining HNT. Um, what else do we want to look at? So that's how you do it. And then how, how do I find the price? Um, I just type in H, H and T price. Very nice. I know. Uh, seven dollars and forty four cents right now. The price keeps going up. It's it's actually crazy. So when I first discovered helium, and I was uh, debating getting in, it was three dollars less than a month ago. Three dollars a coin. So when you're making twelve coins a month at three dollars, not that much, right? But twelve or twelve twelve coins a day at three dollars, it's not that much. But twelve coins a day at seven dollars, that's almost a you know a regular wage so well it actually it's more than a regular wage if you're doing 500 a month right so it's really profitable so all you do first you try helium dot place you can type your address in to see where um, the miners are if that doesn't work you can go on explore dot helium dot com slash coverage and then you can just check the coverage out i'm gonna look at new york because I'm curious to see um, what the most leading, they're probably the most leading city when it comes to helium mining. Actually, this, what's this here? It's a huge patch. This looks like, I've never heard of this place. Young Harris? Hawassi? Uh, no idea, but anyways, I'm going to click on those see what they're earning so yeah the goal the cool thing about blockchain is everything is public it's immutable you can't edit this blockchain you can't hack it you can't change the stats none of this um, can be faked because all of the miners confirm the transaction with all of the other miners so um, it's a good thing to have so plain pearl buffalo this one is in the middle of nowhere in Georgia in northern Georgia and it's earning $700 a month. So, yeah, people are making money everywhere. Now, most of the time when you have a lone wolf, they're only going to make like $100 a month. But it seems like the, the system is getting more and more used. And people are earning money for that. So, okay, I'll zoom out a little bit more. And I'll try to find New York on the map. Because in theory, New York... You know, New York and California usually lead the country in technological advancements. So if you can get a gauge on what's going on there, you can see what's going to happen in your town maybe three or four years later, uh, depending on how how good your town is at this. Um, New York. Let's see. Okay, we're back on the map. Jeez, they're covered. So New York should be around here. There's Concord. There's Newport, Connecticut. New Haven, Connecticut. Atlantic City, New Jersey. And I forget my geography. All right. Ocean City, Dover. I'm lost. Anyways. Centerville. There's a lot in this area. Oh, Patterson, New Jersey. Okay, this is New York. 
they have a crazy amount of miners uh, downtown in Manhattan on the islands. That's Manhattan right there. This is Hoboken, New Jersey. This is Jersey City. So, wow, they have miners on top of miners. So I'm going, let's go to Times Square. Times Square has nothing, but Koreatown has a bunch. Gentle Chrome Gibbon in Koreatown. Let's see what they're doing. Nothing. This guy's hurting. Uh, 0.61, so three bucks a day. It's better than nothing, but uh, maybe it's because there's too many miners, so they have to pay them all. So you can do this all day. I could do this all day, just looking and trying to find out where the best uh, places are to mine and then try to get the miners there. So, yeah, one a day. A hundred a month, that's still 700 a month. So I think, judging on the algorithm, if there's too many miners around you, they have to split. Everyone's going to get paid, but they have to split the earnings with everyone so you make less. So ideally, if you only have three to five miners around you, all of the tokens in your area are going to go to you and you make more. That's my guess, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, because all of them seem to be making a, a lower amount, 124, so 700 US a month per miner. Um, let's go to the financial district, click down there. But there's a lot, like all of these people are making money, so it makes sense. And yeah, so the last one we'll go to is in the financial district, so Wall Street area of New York. And this person's miner is doing, yeah, 70 a month. So uh, 1700 a year, that's still a, a decent income. So 1700 times seven, let's say 750. Which is going to be $12,000 a year. So if you're living downtown in New York and you got a miner down there, $12,000 a year you can get just by plugging it in. And if you get a few friends, you're good to go. So helium prices, helium prices, if you look at them over the last one year, a year ago, if you started mining, you were only getting 46 cents a coin. The coins are scarce. So now we're getting around $7.50 a coin, which is pretty crazy. So 70 coins a month, uh, you're laughing. Now, what I do like is in Canada, there's way less miners than this. Like, you're not going to see this much for years. So getting in early, it is so good for doing nothing. Um, for, so getting in early is is key. Um, New York is going crazy. Like, I, I was watching some videos in New York, and they were showing guys who had three or four in their house. And that's why the earnings are down. If you look at Halifax, there's only three. They're all... Uh, actually, there's more than three. There's probably seven now i have one so far in halifax but i got another 10 on the way so if you look in moncton there's a guy in moncton actually there's two in moncton well, i don't know if it's a guy or a girl but anyways there's someone in moncton with um, a minor harsh taffy gazelle nothing they got to get the, they got to get together i saw some in pei which was shocking to me summerside pei sharp flint bird summerside pei you're looking at i'm going to guess it's a lone wolf bare minimum so seven in 30 days so if you're by yourself doing nothing it looks like you're going to make seven per month which is 36 bucks a month still better than nothing and then once you get miners around you you're going to be laughing and that's about it for eastern canada and then you don't see very much until you get 
to Ontario, which is right, is this right here? Drummondville, oh, this is Montreal. And I really looked at Montreal yesterday. So Montreal downtown, they're making big money. Like this guy here, this miner has, you know, one, it's a star shape. So he has one person surrounding him. So in theory, this person should be making good money because they'd be able to ping off of everyone. I'm shocked about PEI. How did they even know about the technology? I, I mean, there's programmers everywhere. So I'm guessing they, in their programmer net, but cuddly carrot puma. Yeah, like this is booming. So this is the setup you want to get. You want to be in the middle, right? And then have four people uh, over 300 meters away from you mining so this person here well done maybe they were lucky maybe they set it up themselves but 17 hnt in a day right so 120 bucks a day that's crazy what am i doing i'm just showing how to uh how to mine helium using the people's network by getting a helium hotspot and if it's worth it in your area how you can research if it's worth it in your area so this is what the miner looks like um, and you just put it outside um, in Fredericton. Obviously, there's not very much, but um, you can still make money by yourself. But if you get three or four people around you, you're laughing. You can make a full time income. So this person's making three hundred dollars um, or three hundred coins a month times seven dollars a coin. So over twenty one hundred dollars in U.S. a month. You better go do this. That's why I was saying you got to fly back to California for a month or two, set up 10 of these, right? And then you're making 10, 20 grand a month. Like it's, it's amazing. Then you can live anywhere. You just watch your coins come in and maybe you need someone that uh, goes and checks to make sure your Wi-Fi is good to go. But look at this one in Montreal. It has one, two, three. So there's a triangle around it. Let's see if it's earning well. So if you were able to be close to that person, would my device pair? Yeah, so if you have people, if you were to move and you were close to that person, yeah, you would make mad money because the network's already built. Or you can find neighbors or people that you meet at cafes. Just be like, where do you live? I'm making money doing nothing and then get them to sign up. And if you're buying the miner and you're keeping 100% of the coins, you're gonna be laughing. So this one, 297 coins times $7. $7.50, we'll say. $2,200 a month. And it only had, right? It only had one person who was, 400 meters away, one person who's 600, one person who's 700 meters, another person who's 700. So there's five people that are between 400 and 800 meters away, and they're making money with the helium hotspot. So yeah, this is unbelievable. So right now, um, the best way to get one is to sign up for the free hotspot with Emirate. You'll get one in two, in two to four weeks, but I would say if your area is making money, I would buy one right away from helium.com slash mine because you you're, they're going to take 80% of the money. You want to keep 100%. So I would get a free one for now. Then I'd go to helium.com slash mine. I would buy one for $450. It's going to ship in the summer. So while you're waiting for the other one to ship, you'll get the one um, where they take 80%. So that person, in that person's case, if they're making $2,200 a month, they're going to receive $400 a month out of that. I don't think that's fair. They should pay people more. So then you could take that $400 in the first month and you could buy a miner. When it arrives in July, you're laughing. Um, and now it costs you nothing or you can just do it now. So I bought three. Um, this is an easy way. Um, what's up in the UK? The UK is booming too. Um, the UK has a lot of people in London, a lot of people in Germany. It's crazy how global this is, but 
I feel like the coin is going to go, the coin price, the main thing where people are going to make money, you might be making $2,200 a month now. When the coin price goes up to $50 a coin, um, which I think it has to when the rest of the world starts doing it. So if you're making 20, what was it? 200. So 250 a month times seven, 250 a month times seven is 1700, but, oh shoot, tipped over my camera. 250 a month times 50 when the coin goes up, that's $1,200 in a month. So my strategy is going to be to hold half of the coins just in case the, the price tanks. I need to cash out and then I'm going to reinvest it. And the other is going to be just to, to keep them forever. And as that price goes up, uh, your earnings go up. So 12000 a month, that's good. <laughs> After a year, you can buy a house cash. So Europe, let's see Europe. Italy's got some... I don't even know these other countries. Valencia, so that's Spain, Marseille, France. Frankfurt, Amsterdam. Wow, so the UK is done. <laughs> the UK is done. They already got Wolfhampton. That's where I put mine. But, um, wow. London, covered. So let's see what people are making in London. So Macho Orange Rhino. I'll look at that one. That's in Bloomsbury. I'll go to Borough or Elephant and Castle. Tangy Golden Goose. And where else? Kensington, Fulham, let's go to Fulham, see what they're making there, so Macho Rhino, I'm guessing England makes less money because there's too many people around. So England's making the same kind of money that New York is making. There's too many people around. They got to split it up between each other. So 700 a month is still good though. 700 US that should pay some of their expensive rent in London. Um, let's look at the next one. No, they're still making money. It depends on where you are. 450. That's like over 2000. And last one. What is the last one making? 28. So 100 bucks. So yeah. I wonder if they're going to do this in Africa because the, the thing about Africa is if you're making US dollars and you're living in Africa, what is this? This is called go to helium.com and you'll check it out. So it's mining. Um, this is cryptocurrency miners where you plug them in, you're going to share your Wi-Fi with the world, and they're going to pay you directly for hosting the miner. So you're basically getting rent for providing some Wi-Fi. But the Wi-Fi is not data, so it's not going to kill your data. It's more for GPS location and package tracking and things like that. So um, because it's early and you're going to be the first one in your area, you're going to make the lion's share of the coins. And then as more people come in your area and saturate the area, for example, a downtown place, you're going to make less. But what I am what I actually find interesting is if I set a bunch of them up in Uganda, for example, it doesn't cost that much to live there. Like some people can live off of $100 a month, depending on where they are, or, you know, $400 a month if they're in the, like, you know, so if you're making... You know, zero. There's basically zero in Africa. So if you put five of them in your neighborhood and no one knew what they were, and you're bringing in two thousand dollars a month per item, right? You're making ten thousand U.S. a month in Africa. That's like you're living like a king. And then you could still do your job and work from home. So uh, this is a crazy opportunity. Halifax only has five or seven out of all of them. I'm, I'm probably going to be 
I'm probably going to be 80% of the hotspots in Halifax, but over time, people will catch up. Um, that's my goal. So, yeah. Brant, what's going on? The SIGs would be loving this because it's actually antennas that make the uh, the earnings go better. Um, Ottawa, last place. So I'll take a look at Ontario. So if you zoom into Ontario and you look at, say, Oshawa, which is in the middle of nowhere, um, there's still some miners in Oshawa. And you can see what they're earning. Jamaica, I'll take a look at Jamaica. I, so I looked at California. I looked at San Diego. San Diego, the average person with a miner is making around $700 a month. Um, Jamaica, I would doubt it, but I'll take a look right quick. But this one here in Oshawa just has one person that's witnessing. So the signal is somehow not making it to the one next door. But uh, upbeat carbon sidewinder, nothing. So Jamaica, I'll zoom out right now. Yeah, definitely check it out. Um, the free one, just sign up for the free one. And then if you want to order one, they're $450. And then you can cut, you can cut out the commission that the people are providing for the free one. So if we zoom all the way out, let's go to Cuba, NASA. And I don't even know where Jamaica is on the map. One second. That helps. <laughs> Jamaica. Where is the location? What is that? Cayman Islands. Oh, we're right here. So you're below this island here. What's the free one called? Emirate, E M R I T dot I O. I can order you one. In Halifax, I can try, I can get you one or attempt to get you one because I've ordered 12 for people so they know me. But out of the 12, they did reject a few people for some reason. And I, and I argued with them that, you know, you shouldn't reject anyone because I'm going to build the whole network and then they wanted me to build the network for them and like install 500. So I'm not trying to work for them. I'm just trying to get a hotspot. But if you want one, I can get you one. So there's none in Jamaica at all. Um, but there's lots in Miami. So that's an opportunity. If there's none in Jamaica and you, you get five of them going, then you're going to be the only ones making money in Jamaica. So Miami looks like it's covered, going all the way up to Pompano Beach. Then there's some people in Fort Myers. Then there's a few in, what's that, Orlando? Yeah, it's probably Orlando. Yeah, that's Orlando. And then Daytona Beach. So it's mostly the big cities. And uh, yeah, so that's how you do it. So I got the report. Let me know if you want the report. I'll send it to you. Um, it just shows everything about the helium company. Second thing, the coverage map. Then you got the prices at coin, coinmarketcap.com. The prices just keep going up. So that's why it's going to be worth even more. I feel like this is mining Bitcoin in, in 2012 when Bitcoin was really cheap. So um, that's it. And then, oh yeah, helium dot plus. So helium dot plus is an earnings calculator that someone someone built. And so if you say how many miners are around you, see results. It'll say you're going to earn two challenger rewards. So $14 a month. Not ideal. But then if you go back and you say there's a few around you, see results. 78 so 500 us a month almost 700 dollars canadian so there you go if there's a few around you 700 then if there's several around you 693 a month so there you go so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to try and get five different miners around me that i own all five of them 
and hopefully it can bring in over 3,000 to 10,000 a month um, after I start getting more. The issue right now is if you buy one, you got to wait four, five months. Um, and there's so many being purchased and ordered that the manufacturers are behind. And if you go on eBay, depending on where you live, it might be, make sense to just buy one right away on eBay, right? But uh, Halifax is not there yet. So helium miners on eBay, you buy the miner for 450 and people are just turning around and uh, selling it. They're buying them for 450 because they live in Toronto or something like that, where you can make like two grand a month, right? So, oh my God. Yeah, like someone's trying to sell their miner that they bought for 450 for $4,200. That's ridiculous. But it's going to be faster. In two months, you make your money back. This one's $1,000 or best offer. And he's even, this person is selling a miner they don't even own. And they're saying it's going to arrive in April or May. So you could, this person, $6,000 for one miner. Like, it's ridiculous what's going on right now. So people are gouging. So they buy this thing or buy 10 of them for $450. They come on eBay and sell them for $2,500 each. So you can even start a business flipping hardware. I wouldn't do that. But if someone, I, they're probably just putting the ad up there. And then if someone takes it, whatever, if no one buys it, then they just take the ad down and start mining. So this is big. Um, not very many people know about it. So helium.com and then emirate.io and you can get started. And that's all I got for today.